Yu-Gi-Oh. For some of us, it's a childhood obsession, a way of life, and the greatest game ever made. For others, it's another hobby they just can't afford. Duel Monsters is some of the most fun you can have with cardboard, but with meta decks costing hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, it can be hard to decide between rent and a side deck. That's why for this series, Luke Von Karma and myself will show you just how far you can stretch a dollar. We'll build decks that cost anywhere from 20 bucks to 50 cents using real prices from real sellers before duking it out in a battle of the budgets. This is Broke Boy Yu-Gi-Oh! 69 chat you guys are so funny keep up the jokes wait you're hilarious wait you. hold up that's so fucking funny <laughs> what uh okay you wanna you wanna do it <laughs> uh, how am i gonna do it? you fire it all right all right chat it's time to spin that wheel okay that's not that's not actually gonna be it. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait it, <laughs> We're supposed to send this to. Oh my God! It's like, Don't worry, it'll and, be fine. Oh God! All right, here we go. Okay. Ready? Man, this is taking forever. <laughs> this, this wheel is kind of slow. <laughs> Are you holding the? So you've been uh, you've been reading any good books lately? <laughs> This is taking forever, man. This is crazy. I gotta tell you. <laughs> See, I remember. I remember Dude, Doug told me that I should watch the new like Farfa stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh right, right. Master, um, uh, master plan or something. Yeah, master plan, called? master saga. So maybe we can get that going right now. Here. Welcome oh, to season two of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. We're on brand new accounts are on in the season. Each week, Farfa and I open up ten Far master Far packs and ten secret packs. There's a lot of craft and one card choice. At the end of the episode, we draw. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. The loser. $2.50. All right. Half Ooh, as much as okay. the last episode. That's going to wow. be hard. Wow. That's going to be real difficult. All right. So what on earth are we going to play? Oh, my God. How? We, we've been here for like a day. We need to actually prevent you from, from getting into this. Can you use cards from the past rolls? Preferably not. Um, we can use generic ones like Pank or like, um, you know, like Dust Tornado and stuff are totally fine. Three Pank? Yeah, let's just cheat. No Melfi? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you saw the deck we played. Yeah, I will tell you when we get to a dollar, I'm just going to play Tin Dangle. I'll just tell you right now. I'm just playing Tin Dangle when we get to a dollar. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, let's think critically. TG stun, can we play TGs? They must be expensive, these are anime cards. Also, Wonder Magician is like TCG playable. Yeah, these cards are way too expensive. So the bar we have to beat is the Generator Numeron deck, which I don't wanna spoil the last episode, but I'll tell you this, it performed admirably. At 250, we are not gonna be able to pick an archetype that is completely realized, but cheap. We are going to have to pick an archetype and start making concessions, right? What'd you get from your loser's wheel? Rebby, can you please like not bully me? I will cry on stream. Do you want me to cry on stream? I'll do it. I like giant ballpark in Zector. Let's start there and see where we end up. Hornet is one cent? Prank kids? I don't know if we can do Prank Kids at 250. Prank Kids is way too expensive for 250. Could barely do it at five dollars. Five cents, two cents, seven cents for this, eight cents for Roxy's. You for sure can. A whole core is like a buck fifteen. I, I'm I'm in. I wanted to do this last week, but I thought like Joseph kind of wanted to do it, so I, I I stayed a little away from it. But let's let's try it. Let me try Prank Kids. Oh, I forgot that a lot of the money here is probably tied up in links. Cut the B troopers and you might be good. Yeah, see, this is kind of where I am. The only problem is Polly. Uh, we can just play Pandemonium. What can we play with Prank Kids? Because we need another engine. Adventure, shut up, Chloe. You know what would really be great for this deck, which I I, I am sure we cannot afford, is Allure of Darkness. Is there any shot in hell that we can get an Allure of Darkness in here, do you think? No. Necrofusion is one cent. Oh, Necrofusion. Now you're talking. Uh, can we play like a, what's it called? A fusion recycle or something? Fusion, what's it called? There he goes, recycling plant. Okay, let's let's get the ballparks. 
10 cents on the ballpark. Five cent ballpark, you're on. Uh, how about Goki Pole? One cent Goki Pole, you're on. This is a pretty decent core for a dollar. Albaz? Okay, let me look at Albaz. Okay, so here's where we are now. And our cart spent 71 cents. We need to be able to buy a pretty substantial extra deck. I want to keep about 50 cents left for the extra deck at least. Rescue Rabbit? I could try a Rescue Rabbit. A cent? Yeah. Bro, can we just play this deck? Fleur is five cents. I don't know if I can play any of this in, in pranks, but I'm just like thinking about it. Albaz token is a penny. Thoughts on running Prosby? Hmm. Let's check the price of Prosperity. Uh, surely it's a, since it's a widely used card by many players, it must be uh, not super expensive. Oh, uh, we do need something to search off Resonance Insect though, right? Mimicking Maneater? What is this? I don't think this card is any good whatsoever. Let's, yeah, let's look at the Albaz stuff. I think that's better now that I'm thinking about it. So what can we play? That's good. Rotar, the Golden Sorcel. Why are these like blurry? Okay, so now we have to do the really hard work of the extra deck. Codebreaker stuff seems like it's good. Yeah, I could, I could get behind that. Still got a lot of room to play with in the extra deck. We've got about a dollar to do it. Exa Stag, Exa Beetle. These are good cards, yeah. Oh, Albaz is a penny. Yes. Yes! I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about, chat! I want some generics, just some guys that like remove my opponent's stuff. How much are the nightmares? Griffin is a cent. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, there's Sprint. Sprint is crazy. One effect monster, special summon this turn. Uh, it's a penny, we can play. We're at 130. Chat, we have so much room! We have so much room. <laughs> this is a stinker. What are our spell trap removal options? Dust tornado, exactly. Uh, we had Blizzard in here last time, that was a cent. Storm is busted here. Oh. Oh, I can play that shit main. Yes. Chat, you have come to the fucking rescue. Oh, yes. What's your total right now? Add Mirror Jade for 20 cents. Uh, total is... Oh, my God. This deck is, like, weirdly working so well. I don't know. I mean, this list kind of goes crazy. This is wild. Like... <laughs> Like everything is synergizing with it. It's awesome. Without Paula, you can't make any Alba stuff turn one. We're not trying to make Alba stuff turn one. Like chat, it, we're not comboing here. It's a $2.50 format. We don't need to combo turn one. It's gonna take some practice because it's like a pretty involved combo deck, but this is really good. All right, for these 70 cards, it costs $2.50 exactly. I bring you my most foul creation, Prank Kids Albaz. And it only cost us two fifty. This deck cost us only two dollars and fifty cents. Can you believe it? Two fifty. Did you make it work? Oh, I made it work. And let's just say I was I was sweating the whole time. How about you? <laughs> oh, I made it work. And I'm, I'm, I'm sweating for you, buddy. Ooh. It's going to get hot in here. There's going to be bullets coming out of your pores. No, listen, I'm rooting for you. I, I'm excited to see. I'm always like, damn, I hope Joe wins. This is so exciting. Uh, just throw RPS, baby. Okay, I'm throwing it. Oh, Ooh. how was it paper again? All right, I'm going to take the extra card. I I'm not concerned. What are you going to do with $2.50? Combo me into Kingdom Come? Uh, I would never do such a thing. Oh, God, this this is a close one. Uh, I think, unfortunately, ugh, let's just set a card and set a card here. No, not, not the most exciting turn, but you'll see. You'll see. It it'll be cool, I promise. All right, well, unlike you, my turn is going to be crazy exciting. I'm going to begin with Zektrike Ko-O. What? What? Yeah, what you didn't think this? we would get the creative yo, card here, right? Yo, I'm so, so, oh my god, I'm hype. Okay, okay. Okay, Let's so see. we're going to send Insector Hornet to the graveyard. How, how much, choose? okay, you have to, I'm sorry, you have to tell me. How much is Zek, Zek Trike? ko -Oh is a 10 cent card. It is Stop far and away the most it. expensive card in my deck. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm going to activate the effect of Insector Dragonfly to equip an Insector for my hand or graveyard to this card. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hornet. I'm going to activate the effect of Hornet here. I'm gonna send it to the graveyard to target this card and pop it. Okay, that is my back to the front. I'll trigger Dragonfly here to summon an Insector from my deck. Insector Centipede. We're gonna activate Centipede, equipping Hornet. We're gonna activate Hornet to pop your set. Uh, yep, this is Fallen of Albaz. Ooh. 
Oh, you got the structures here. I got, I got a little something. It's not the structure, but it's it's got it's got some spice. Unfortunately, I did brick. Oh, All right, we're gonna happens. go for a centipede here. I think I can kill you here, but I have to think about Please it. Please, <laughs> come on, baby, give me I'm, one more. I'm pretty turn. sure I can. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, we're oh, gonna put a uh, gigamantis in here. Oh no. All right, so we're gonna link these two off. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Goki Pole here. Oh shoot! Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna go the pole and the dragon fly to the grave for Insecto Pico Falina. Your lucky bee troopers is no longer fun and interesting for people. Okay. I'm gonna go Pico pitching smoke mosquito and targeting centipede. We're gonna go Goki Pole here as well with that copy of Goki Pole. We're gonna summon a squatter. Sure, sure. And with Pico, we're going to equip a. Hornet. We're going to activate the effect of Gigamantis in hand and equip it to my centipede. We're going to activate the effect of Hornet popping itself and the Gigamantis. We're going to trigger the effect of the Gigamantis to summon back the Dragonfly. We're going to trigger the effect of the Hornet here, equip it to the Dragonfly, or the Dragonfly effect rather. Okay, I'm just going to assume you're not cheating because I literally have no idea what you're doing. Uh, now what do we do? Is this lethal? No. Are you sure? <laughs> you can look at the numbers, bro. It doesn't, it's not lethal. <laughs> Well, I think it's going to be lethal when I activate Giant Ballpark. Whoa, wait. I'm going to go to the battle phase. It? I'll attack with Pico Falina. I'm going to activate Ballpark. No one takes battle damage from this battle. Sure. I'm going to send a... <laughs> what are you giggling over there? A Neobug to the graveyard. Oh! <laughs> then I'll summon two Neobug. Neobugs from my deck. Insects! <laughs> 18, 18, <laughs> 1,000, 16, 2,000. Oh, my God. This has got to be lethal. It just I, has I'll, to be. I'm trying. Let's see. I'll go, we'll do it by the numbers. Uh, 1,000, 1,000, 1,600, uh, uh, 700. Whoa. That was... Oh, how crazy. Whoa, crazy. Oh, okay, gosh. okay, okay. Maybe, maybe I won't break this time. Maybe Your deck's crazy. What the heck? Yeah, it's fucking insane. <laughs> So here's what happened. Someone showed me the set that the Insectors were reprinted in and said, Joseph, they reprinted every single one of these cards at common rarity. They're all a penny because the set was trash. You got to play it. And I said, you're on, baby. That's awesome. Now, seeing that deck in action, it doesn't feel like you have a ton of stuff that can do things So I'm actually going to go second here oh, <laughs> and make God. you go first. Okay, uh, yeah, that's fine. Really you did need figure that out card. the Insector trick. <laughs> uh, wow, this hand is like... <laughs> <laughs> I pray you draw three of your normal bug. <laughs> uh, if I had, there's one card if I drew, it would do it, and I just didn't draw it. I'm going to activate Giant Ballpark and pass. Well, that's... Yeah, okay. Ah. <sighs> That's not it. Well, you are literally representing nothing, but if you have a bug, now I'm kind of boned. If I normal any monster, you're taking like 6,000. Well, that's that's fine as long as I'm not dead, but man, I am. I, I, I do apologize. I am seeing the worst hands ever. Ooh, um, okay, so I guess I'll just do this. Uh, we're gonna activate Fusion Recycling Plant. Yep. I'm going to activate the effect. So uh, my chat was lobbying for me to play this as well. Polly's like a 16 cent card, but if you play this, you only need to play one. That is true. It is that's it is my extra copies of Polly, so we're going to add Polly to hand here. I Honestly, I'll take 6K. That's fine. I, I just can't, like, I can't do anything with this hand. Unfortunately, I am now remembering why no one plays in Sector, and it's this. <laughs> if you don't find Hornet, you are kind of fucked. Uh, we're going to summon uh, my big bouncing bimbo boys. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll go to combat. We'll try to do a 1,000. Uh, we will giant ballpark here, so you take zero. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm going to send a shiny black sea squatter to grave. Then we'll summon two from deck and one from grave. Okay, ow. That's a lot. Uh, and then we'll take... Am I taking two, 6K here? Two, two, two. Yep. Okay. That's pretty good. It's I decent. assume you can uh, still make like Peak of Lena and stuff. Uh, we can do a lot more than that. Please, I, I just need one card. <laughs> Ugh. Squatter and Goki Pole to the grave. We're going to get Pico. Yeah, yeah. Going to go Pico 1, Goki Pole 2. We're going to pitch Dragonfly. Goki Pole is going to summon Neobug. We're going to equip okay. Hornet to Squatter. We're going to activate the effect of Insector Giga Weevil in hand to equip itself to Pico Felina. Okay. We're going to activate Hornet to destroy our Giga Weevil. We're going to activate Giga Weevil to summon Insector Dragonfly. We're going to activate Dragonfly to equip Hornet. 
Tor. We're going to activate Hornet to destroy Fusion Recycling Plant. Yawn. We're going to activate Dragonfly. We're going to grab um, Centipede. Uh, we're going to activate Centipede, targeting Hornet. We're going to activate Zectalibur, targeting Centipede. We're going to overlay these... Uh, oh, God, do we overlay or do we just start freaking linking, buddy? Could you not, oh, please? Has nothing uh, locked you, to... stupid-ass bugs. Nothing's Dumb locked bugs. Uh, I'm about stupid to lock bugs. myself right now uh, by sending Black Sea Squatter and Neobug to the grave for Bee Trooper Armor Horn. Uh, oh, how could you afford this card? <laughs> it is it is very cheap. We'll go Hornet, target Zectalibur here. This is going to trigger Centipede and Zectalibur. Uh, we are going to use Zectalibur to get, I guess, Giga Weevil and Centipede to get Dragonfly. Listen, man, all I'm hoping for is that you're, like, cheating or something, and the comments are like, you should have never cheated with the the, the, the the spell and stuff. <laughs> I'm going to normal summon <laughs> Dragonfly. Trigger the effect. We'll equip Hornet. This deck is crazy. If only uh, I we're drew gonna a good Armor card. We're going to send Armor Horn and Pico Falina to the graveyard for Giant Bee Trooper Invincible Atlas. <laughs> you're just playing Bee Trooper. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, I'm just trooping <laughs> out here, baby. This. I'm just trooping. Okay, okay. Uh, I will simply draw the card I need off the top. Uh, I'm just going to get greedy. We're going to send these two to the graveyard for Pico. Okay. We're going to activate the second effect of Pico. Uh, we're going to shuffle the Neobug, the Squatter, and the Squatter back into the deck and draw a card. That's pretty good. Squatter and uh, Pico to the graveyard for Seraphine Papillion. Uh, we'll put three or two counters on it. I think that is the end of my turn. Uh, good luck. Well, I actually... Wow, that was the worst driver, but I actually do think I have a play here. We're going to normal summon Albas. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to send... Uh, it's discard any card. Yeah, okay. Discard uh, this card. Fuse you and you. Unfortunately, Invincible Atlas does not say it's unaffected. It says it can't be targeted or destroyed. Yep. And I imagine you are not doing that. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, let's just make Mirror Jade. <laughs> oh, what? No, wait, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Uh, I, I'm right here, right? <laughs> I can do yeah, this? No, that, okay, yeah, no, that is what it does, just, yeah. Just making sure. Just a little uh, shocked is all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's honestly the turn. I guess I'll just go, let's see. Um, How the fuck do I out this? <laughs> so you can special summon the like other guys. I guess I don't really care that much. Let's go the effect, let's banish. Uh, I will activate Papillion in response. Uh, we'll just grab back a dragonfly here. Let's banish Papillion. I'm gonna send Brigand the Glory Dragon. I've never read this card. This gets you t a Tri-Brigade or a Fallen of Albaz. I got you. Um, alrighty, so let's go combat here which will you choose danny the attack position one will trigger giant ballpark but the defense position one doesn't have the hornet attached <laughs> uh actually i'm gonna I, I think i have to do this i'm just gonna normal prank kid roxy's <laughs> fuck you danny <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go uh attack into this one hmm. so this will crash uh the dragonfly is a 15 here that's fine uh, sure try and hit over the other one also fine Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing here. All right, uh, stand by me. Oh uh, yeah, go get your go get go get your brigand. All right, let's see if we can clean this one up. First and foremost, we are going to banish three cards: uh, the dragonfly, the centipede, and the pico for B Trooper Insect Armor Horn. We're going to use our extra normal summon on Insector Centipede. Uh, we're going to trigger Centipede here. We're going to target Hornet. Uh, we are going to. Think very carefully about our next steps. I mean, can't you just pop Mirror Jade and then go to battle? Oh, no. I'm doing something much funnier. What? Why? That's literally lethal. <laughs> because it's funny. No! <laughs> Stop styling on me and beat me. Absolutely not. Okay, I uh, will just admit defeat. If no, 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 no. I really me. do want to... No, I really do want to style. It's going to be... No! I'm not letting okay. you style on me. No, come me. on. All right, okay. So we're going to go Giga Weevil. Okay, here. okay, okay. I'm going to go... <laughs> Hornet pop Stop. Giga Weevil. You're like one of those guys at locals. He's like, no, no, dude, let me win with like the way I want to win. We're going to summon uh, Insector Dragonfly and add Stop. from deck to hand. Uh, Zectrike Ko. -Oh, Stop. Right? Stop. No, it's Stop. really neat. It's Stop. so Stop. neat. Stop. 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 It's, Stop. Uh, Stop. it's amazing. Uh, we are going to go into Traffic Ghost. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are on penis cards. We can't even do that. That's illegal. <laughs> Stop playing the game.